testimony Could have been dead and gone But the Lord, he let me live on Living a living testimony, and I thank God. I thank God I'm still alive. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. Your hand together and tell him thank you. Come on and tell him thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I praise you. Lord, I give your name glory. I give your name honor. My help is in you. My, my, my strength is in you. My hope is in you. I, I, I believe you today, Lord Jesus. And I bless your name. Well, 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 well. Spirit of the Lord is in the place. The help of God is in the room. The anointing of God is in this place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Giving God, anointing God, powerful God, soul saving God. You come on up here, shy. Miracle in the body, God. I, I, I need a man to put his hand on. Him. Right? Uh, 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 come on down a little bit. Miracle in the body, God. Hey! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Hallelujah. That's a miracle, God. Let me tell you what, brother. When you go back, it's going to be a different diagnosis. God said, I'm going to get it all this time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm trying to come on down. I'm trying. I got a few words, but I shall tell hope. Let's God all day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whew. I don't know why I'm picking on the men. Come here, little brother with that blue suit on right through there. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, I ain't got all day now. Thank you, Jesus. And I don't feel like running down there. So you come on up here. Uh, Woohoo! bring you up here to hurt you or embarrass you. I just brought you up here to let you know that God sees you. And the fact that, and the fact that he sees you, he also loves you. He loves you and he has a plan for your life. Don't let the devil turn the plan around. Uh, in other words, this is your day to shift. I'm making sense to you. 
I'm an old lady to you. I know you talk old lady. I talk old lady talk. You're a wonderful young man. Don't know nothing about you, but just see good and you're cute and all of that, dressed up. And all, as my grandma used to say, and I'll sit to that. Amen. But stay on the right road. God got great things for you, boy. Go on back down. Come on and tell the Lord I thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Uh, well, I guess I'm going to try to. I sure feel comfortable and can just let the Lord do it. Pastor told me just. So just bear with me. Oh, come sit down. Y'all have to stand up. My, 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 my. Yeah. Brother, right through that with the sitting next to that pretty lady that's talking to the other lady on her side right there. Uh huh. Stand up. Yeah, you ain't got to come up here. Just stand there for a minute. Thank you, Jesus. I, I, I'm seeing some uh, some business dealings here. With a large sum of money. You his wife. Stand on up too. It belongs to you too. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. That's all right. She, she, God going to help her to stay. I don't think it has taken place yet. I, I, I think there's a business transaction that you are con contemplating. And you're trying to decide on it. And, it's money, a nice chunk of money involved. God said, I'm going to lead you to the right person to carry it through for you. I don't know if it's an attorney or what. Am I making any sense? What? Said, I am. It's a nice chunk of money. I don't know if it's a piece of property. But God said, I'm going to, you grinning like I'm talking like you know what I'm talking about. I, God said, I'm going to fix it up for you, and I'm going to give it to you. And it's going to be the greatest blessing you ever had. <laughs> Let me just, I, I, I want to know, am I making sense? Sir, I'm making sense. You ain't got to put your business in the street. But I'm going to give you my address before I go. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Trying to quit shaking, I'm just, just whew, the spirit of the Lord is in this place. Thank you, Jesus. Bishop, I don't have to tell you how honored I am to be here. And I just thank God for you and your wife. Met him years ago. I didn't even remember little baby here. She had to be real little. But I tell it everywhere I go, they were the first somebody I had lunch with, and they introduced me. They took me to a restaurant to introduce me to shrimp and grits. I had never heard of that. <laughs> never heard of that before in my life. But they introduced me to the shrimp and the grits. And I love it. I'm highly, highly honored and favored of the Lord. God bless you, Mother. Amen, amen, amen. Didn't know there was Mother. Amen. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. He's sharp and ain't had it was when Uncle Dick died, too. <laughs> That's sharp. Amen, and I want to say again how honored and thankful I am to be here today. Uh, among you all, amen, and all of the workers that have put this uh, meeting together and the success that it has been to that most melodious choir and to your directors. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you. To all of the ministers of God, I thoroughly give you all honor to all of the men of God. 
I take my place behind you, with you, alongside you, in helping to serve in the ministry of God. But I certainly give honor to them. And I want to thank the people who have been so kind to me to uh, over the phone every other day or so, I bug Sister Listen to me. Amen. And I want to thank you and pa Sister Pam Faison and uh, Sister Janice Owens today. Just thank you so very much. Now, who? <laughs> Amen. There's somebody I didn't say. I, I, Sister Owens, I did just talk about you. And who else did I not say? <laughs> Did I call your name? Okay then, because I really forgot it. I'm going to get into the word. And <laughs> if Lord let me live till the fourth, I'll be 85. So, <laughs> so. <laughs> Thank you. So, I ain't trying to remember everybody's name. You know your name. Uh, if you don't know your name by now, I can't help you. I can't remember all your name, okay? <laughs> when I got the invitation to come, oh, my friend, uh, I'll get to you in a minute. I'm, I'm, I'm getting in this word. It's in my brain now. Arise, shift, release. I said, what in the world are they talking about? <laughs> I didn't ask nobody else. I said, because they're looking for me. I said, what are they talking about? <laughs> and I said, well, that kind of sounds like an automobile or something. <laughs> so I did the best I could, but when I got the scriptures, Isaiah and Jeremiah said they didn't have no cars. <laughs> then I remembered I was coming to, I'm no disrespect, but you know, when you, you ain't right in front of him, you just call him Patrick Wooden, you know. I said, well, he's a little different anyway. So, <laughs> I didn't know what to do. <laughs> know about cars and stuff, but I, it, it, they didn't have no cars back then when Isaiah and them was coming along. <laughs> so I sought the Lord. Uh, by the way, let me look at this sister's name. I sure want to call her name. Is it? So to turn. <laughs> you bad. Isaiah 55 and 6 says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Sister Mabel Scott, you getting that? Praise God. Isaiah prophesied at the most crucial period in the history of Judah and Israel. Both the southern and the northern kingdoms had experienced nearly a half century of increasing prosperity and power. Israel ruled at that time by Jeroboam and six other minor kings had succumbed to a pagan worship like we have today. We call it something different. Mm -hmm. 
Judah under Uzziah, Jotham, and Hezekiah had fallen into serious moral and spiritual decline. Secret places of pagan worship were tolerated. <laughs> Wealthy oppressed the poor. The women neglected their families in the quest of carnal pleasure. Many of the priests and prophets, preachers, became drunken men pleasers. pleasers. I, I'm talking back in, Jesus hadn't come on the scene. Now, none of y'all, yeah. but I got this out the Bible. Then when we skip down to Jeremiah, by this time, 29 and 13, the Lord said, And you shall seek me and find me when you shall search for me with all your heart. Jeremiah was just a youth when he was called to carry a severe message of doom to his people. He attempted to avoid this task but was unable to remain silent. You know, just like fire, shut up in my bone. The people had become so corrupt under Manasseh that God must bring an end to the whole nation. Defeated and taken into exile, they would reflect on what had happened to them and why. Then after proper punishment, the nations uh, who had punished them and fulfilled his old covenants with Israel, David's, and the Levites, God would give them a new covenant and write his law on their hearts. Under the old covenant, forgiveness was promised, but now forgiveness comes with the promise that God will remember their sins no more. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Y'all praying? Let's skip to the now. Women, and thank God to be one of them. A real one. Ain't been 85 all my life. <laughs> Was good looking. Don't mess with me over there. <laughs> Let's face it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're living in a period of anxiety, competition, and obstacles, the likes of which we've never seen or ever known before. In an era when people, places, and events are competing for our time, so much that we've never known uh, it like this before. We've never seen life like this. We don't hardly know, Mother, what to do with life. It's coming at us so many angle, angles in so many different ways, ways that we've been taught to reject. Yet, as Pastor said, the law is making room for sin. By the way, if you want to repeat it, it's K-E-L-L-E-Y. -E <laughs> Do I look scared? <laughs> I don't think so. If God has kept me these 85 years, even when I didn't love him enough to, 
to serve him. When I didn't know him in the pardoning of my sin. Amen. When I thought most men or any man, as a matter of fact, was a much right man. Much right man. As he was or yours. God had mercy. I ain't going to play with y'all. I ain't going to play. God had mercy on me. Amen. <laughs> There's no question that we've got to arise. In other words, we've got to get up, shift, change your motives, and your method. And let some stuff go. That's the direction I'm going in now. Mm -hmm. Some of us have better education, positions. Can, I'm talking about us women. We can borrow money now on our own signatures. Can make or break a politician. Have expensive cars. Headed in the wrong direction. And God is trying to get our attention to let us know we got to turn some things around. Women with God's help and the men's support, we can do it. We can do it. But you got to be sincere. Plan time is out. You had all that time when you was out in sin to play, to play games, play with brothers' affections, you know, do your thing. But if you're going to be in the church, be real, or just shut up and sit down and get out of the way. There's enough hypocrites already in here. We don't need you. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. And I have a changing, fast-paced mode of living. We find that the disciplines of this day are not like yesterday and won't even be remotely the same tomorrow. We don't know what to look for. Consequently, we all have difficult corners to turn. <laughs> you got to be in the right gear now. Come on. We got, we got to uh, a long road out there to success, and it's going to take a minute to get there. So you better shift. Mm -hmm. Many of us take the expressway instead of going through the city of life. See, when you take the expressway, you miss a lot. You might get to a point a little faster, but when you get there, you ain't got nothing behind you. You can't tell nobody how you got there, and you can't tell them how to get there. You forgot to release mentally and physically. First of all, you got to release here. Get some up there and release it. Let it spread to somebody else. Amen. Yes, yes. In our ever-changing, fast-paid mode of living, we find that the disciplines are not like yesterday. They won't be the same tomorrow. We got these corners to turn. And I said we take the expressway. And we're not going the right way a lot of times. Amen. We choose not to help somebody. Uh, we choose to try to see how fast I can get there. You choose, uh, you, you pass up so much you could be doing. See, when you uh, don't release and just trying to shift all the time to see which way I can shift to go this way, which way I can shift to get here, which way can I shift to No, no, no. 
Relax. Look. Be sensitive. What's here? What can I do? You can help some underprivileged person. If you go the right direction. If you don't always take the expressway. If you can release your mind that it's not the speed, but it's the need. Good. It's not how fast I can get where I'm trying to go, but it's which direction did I take just in case I have to go back. Because if I go back, I need to know the way to go. But I got there too fast. I didn't help anybody. I didn't look at the directions. I didn't notice the signs. I just had a goal in mind. And I didn't care how I got it. I didn't care how I got to it. I didn't care whose husband I laid with to get it to. I didn't care what I had to do. I didn't care what sexual activity I had to involve myself in. I just knew there was a place that I wanted to go. And I knew I was cute enough to go. And I knew that my shape would get me there. And I knew that I could fling my hair. If not, I'd buy some to fling. I just... <laughs> you ain't got nothing against buying hair. My God would get it for the right reason. Amen. Now, you're not going to like me what I'm fixing to say right now about it. I don't mind you buying it, and God don't either if you ain't got none if that's what you want. But I ain't never seen no black person with no blue hair. I don't care. I don't care. I don't, uh. I, 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 it's, it, it's not about you. You look good. It's not about, I don't see anybody in here with it, but if I did, it wouldn't stop me from saying it. <laughs> but I'm just trying. Yeah, I wouldn't. They brought me a round trip ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. I ain't got enough folks around me and all. Y'all adjutants up there, aren't you? Yeah. Them big brothers. Right here, brother. Huh? Hey. Football playing, looking pretty. But anyway, <laughs> I got to inject this when I, before I knew him, met him, I had seen him when they told me about him, Bishop Bill Wright, and he, he, they want to look like brother. He wants to look like brother, whatever the case is. But anyway, he said he, he looked like a, a football player. I said, well, he might be. For all I know, I don't know him. I ain't never heard of Patrick Wooden. They said, you haven't? I said, no, but that's been what? 20 years ago? It's been about 20 years or whatever the case. So when I came, they treated me like a queen, took me, as I said, to get the shrimp and grits and all, and look, and then the man went to preaching the truth, and well, he probably preaching it all the time, but I'm talking about it began to go out, and his name began to get out there. Amen, that there was somebody, even here, on the south end of the country, is standing up for righteousness. Yeah. Standing up for godliness. Amen. Amen. So we want to go in the right direction. So you're going to have to get on up. That sound like something I used to get on up. Ain't that something? What was that? Who was that? Look, don't act like you've been saved. Who was it? James Brown, get on up. <laughs> I know I remember that. I ain't that, I ain't that deep that I can't remember. I, and, and let's look. If you're going to shift, that's right, shift in the right direction. But you ain't no fool. You ain't forgot stuff. You ain't forgot sin. You ain't forgot how to cuss. You ain't forgot that men look good. Amen. Amen. You shifted. But shift in the right direction. Amen. And if you're married, stay there. To, you, didn't, you picked him, didn't you? You got it. So lay, lay, lay there with him and shut up. Thank <laughs> you. 
I done slept by myself so long I can make these bold statements. Amen. Amen. You mean you done slept by yourself? Yes, I have. And did you like it? No, I didn't all the time. I didn't like it all the time. I, I don't like it now. I wish I had me a big old dog to, you know, to bite somebody if they came in on me. But other than that, I, no, I ain't talking about that for God's sake. No. <laughs> Come on, it's happened. In the church. Amen. We're going to have to release some stuff. Amen. You got to release that mind that Satan will always bring you. I don't care how deep and how saved and what you are, sin will always want to come back in. You ain't forgot how to cuss. Amen. You might be 60 or whatever, 8 or whatever, the case, but you're some fine old ladies. Amen. Just clap it, baby. You got it. <laughs> Amen. And it's not all about sex all the time. Some folks just want somebody, to, some men just want somebody to keep up with them clean and wash and iron and keep them fed and all like that. That's your business, sister lady, if that's what you want to do. But now if you are married already, and I certainly, don't get me wrong, am not going to try to tell women that's had husbands 40 and 50 years how to keep them. Because if I had had that much sense, I'd have kept mine. Okay, so don't look. I'm, I'm, shift your mind. Don't you ain't got no husband? Quit trying to teach the marital class. You ain't, you ain't got no children. Quit trying to teach women how to do babies. I can't, I can't tell you how it is to stay with a man 40 and 50 years. How to keep a husband 40 and 50. I can teach you how to lose one. And I can teach you that you can lose one even if you're a good wife. That's him. It's not you. If you're a good wife, be that good wife. If he wants to whore around, God will deal with him one-on-one. -on -one. You're not responsible for that. Let me inject this right quick. I was in Detroit. I Almost fell out on the stage, on the platform. It had been about a week and a half ago. Some kind of virus, blah, 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 blah. But I guess the Lord said, now you say you saved, and I've saved you. This, and quit thinking evil. I'm going to let you know you have to arise from some of your thoughts. I don't care how deep you are. Because see that cow, that, I mean that lady that laid around with my her husband. She was from Detroit. That was just one of them, but that was, ooh, that was the worst one. Ooh. She would go on trips with him. And I would call him, and he didn't get no answer to this, but she would, I think one time she left some of hers in his suitcase. So when he got home and I unpacked, I found it. Not that she was trying to hide so much from me. Yeah. He took me to her workplace, and I sat in the car. He went up there and stayed long enough. They had lunch. The food was in the car down there waiting. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to tell you what. When you get saved, God will allow you to have something that he We'll release. If you have to have it drop by drop, he'll give it to you. Little by little, he'll give it to you. Hang in there. Don't worry because your husband is hoeing around. Hang in there. You do what's right, and God will do what's necessary. God gave me that. God gave me that saying. You do what's right. If you do what's right, God will do what's necessary. Amen. And they did me like two dogs. The man witnessed to me, and I got sanctified. And 
began to go to a little sanctified church. I guess it would hold maybe 55, 60 folks. Amen. Yeah, somebody had told me, I'm getting off of this right now for a minute. Somebody had told me, uh, as a matter of fact, a young preacher came to our nightclub. My husband had the biggest nightclub in Detroit, Mr. Kelly's. And, uh, oh, you'd have to be 60, 70 years old to remember that. Remember, but I've run into folks that's been there. <laughs> Amen. And uh, we and the guardians were friends. And matter of fact, when I moved to New York, uh, he was my manager. My husband was my manager. That's how it all got started. I'm getting off, but I'm still in seeking and seeking. Shifting and releasing. When he... When Bear Gordy got ready to come to New York to try to go to the Apollo, he didn't know the shipment, but I did because I had been there many times and working with the different ones and Pearl Bailey, and I had worked with uh, Billy Holiday. I had opened the show for Ray Charles and different ones. That's what I did. I was a nightclub singer. That's the reason I left Memphis from being, you know, on the radio and there in Jackson, Tennessee, and then singing in the clubs there. Then went on up to Detroit when they... He got me uh, some manager. He was the manager, my manager. Went there, and then I went on up to New York and all. And I'm here I am in Detroit. Now I'm saved. And he couldn't beat it out of me. He tried. Mm -mm. Don't go back down to that sanctified church no more. See, the preacher had come down to our club looking for to use a piano player, uh, a pianist. I said, no, we ain't got no piano that we can let you use or sell to you or whatnot. I said, but, uh, uh, you know, God bless you. He said, well, why don't you come down to the church sometime? I said, huh, what church? You? Tell me, two doors down that way? He said, yes. I said, if I was going to church, I wouldn't be going to that little old thing. Life went on, and I went on, and my husband and that cow, I mean, that lady went on. <laughs> She'd leave her lipstick in the car, wipe it off, and leave it there where I could see it and all of that. In the meantime, I was seeking the Lord. But I didn't know how to make the shift right then. Sometimes it takes stuff before your gears know how to shift. Ah, bless your heart. Sometimes it takes trouble. This time it was heartache. I wanted my marriage to work. Trouble began to come so much, and whippings and beatings. And <sighs> had left New York by this time to come back to my own nightclub and see what was going to happen there, and left Central Park and all of those places. Come on back. Got in touch with this little preacher. He, as a matter of fact, he looking for the uh, organ or whatever the case, but trouble carried me down to that little sanctified church one day. And, and, and they were, it wasn't on a Sunday. The door was just open. And I went in and they were in the back reading and they knew who I was because I didn't nobody else in the block have a convertible drop top white Cadillac with red interior. <laughs> and a snow white poodle that I dyed the color of my clothes. And I dropped the top. And I shifted. Went on by this little church. And didn't know that the preacher was gonna release. 
a word. He said, Miss Kelly, read this. This wasn't on no Sunday night. I said, you read it. <laughs> he said, all right. Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything? Anything too hard for me. Well, if it ain't release, release, God release. He said, I can't release until you shift. Woo! I left and began to go down, down, down. Y'all sit down. Until I began to see things at night, feel stuff like crawling on me, stuff and things. Went to the doctor. You ain't crazy. I don't know what's the matter. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, 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 but one Sunday morning, I went on, I'm getting off of this. Uh, I, I, I went by there just to, just to go. I don't know really what I went for. After that word they had given me is anything too hard for me. I thought on that. And this Sunday morning I went. And as I say, there was maybe one, two, three, maybe ten rows. And when it got through with the, the preacher, because, see, that was the deacon that t talked to me about Scripture. But the preacher, the pastor came in, and he preached, and then they made what we know as an altar call. I'm sitting in the back, and by this time, my nerves had gotten so bad that it looked like something was following me. It looked like I'd look around and try to catch it to see what it was. And I couldn't sleep at night, and I sweated at night, and I got up and... All like this, and he said, you know, that's so and so, she going crazy. Well, I went on by this little church, and I, something was following me. I drove in the car, and I kept looking, and wasn't nobody there, so I couldn't go down toward the front. So I sat on, on the back row, and they had church, and then they had what we know as an altar call. And, and the mothers got up about Three or four of them. That's all they could, all they had in the church. That's the reason I honor the old ladies. I'm glad to be one of you today. They could raise, the, put their arm out, and start singing. Just as I am without one plea. But that thy blood was shed for me, and that thou bidst me come to thee, oh. Lamb of God, I come. I, I, I come. I found myself was standing up. The next thing I knew, the mothers were doing this. They kept on playing that. I didn't know why I was standing up. I, today, I didn't hear it then, but today, in, in this message today, I could hear the Holy Ghost saying, Release. Yes, 
My soul was in trouble and bound. But I heard the Holy Ghost today for then say release. <laughs> then by the time I got down there, step by step, <laughs> looked like he was saying in today's language, shift. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shift. We're going in another direction. All right, get up. We got a new place for you. I ain't going back to that probably no more. I'm through. Come on up. I don't know what you meant, Brother Brown, but get on up. Women, it's a new day for us. You don't have to go the same way that the failures went. You can release what God has given you to help somebody else. You can shift from me, 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 and I, I, I to help you, 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 and him and her, her, her. Hallelujah. Release what God has given you. Yeah, you got better jobs. I got to quit. I, I got three more pages and I ain't finna go to either one of them. You got better homes. You got sharp clothes. But when you come into church, you can't get nothing done. If they put you in a choir, you want to run the whole choir. You can't sing that good. They just got you in there. You're just another alto. <laughs> Hallelujah. Release your brain from thinking you all of that. Shift over to Lord. What can I do to help somebody? Hallelujah. Women, you might have some money. But ask God uh, to release it in the proper order. Don't become a fool to the credit card demon. Let God release your wisdom at the proper time. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I work so hard on this stuff. I have some good stuff over here too. Hey, hey. But I got to go as the Lord give me. Hallelujah. Ye shall receive power. Hey, yeah, power. Let God release the Holy Ghost. Let God release prayer meetings. Let God release your help in somebody. Let God release in your spirit to shut up. You don't know it all. Let God release the church. Ain't nowhere to find a man. Shift your mind to holiness. Shift. Your mind to righteousness. Shift your mind to your own husband. Shift with smelling good when he get home. Shift to making him a biscuit every now and then. You don't even know how to make a biscuit. Come on. Hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. God wants to release everything he's got for you. God got some good stuff, but you got to shift your mind. You got to get up and go another direction and release the power of God to somebody else. Everybody's standing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. My, 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 my. Lord, I got two, three more pages. I ain't fixing to touch because I'm through with this. I hope I've convinced you now. Let's see, what was it? Arise, shift, and release. You ought to have sense enough to do that by now. You've been working on it all the week. Amen. Amen. We want to get up 
from stagnation, complacency, and thinking we're all that. Your flesh is nothing. I don't care how cute you are, you're going to get old. You're going to get wrinkled. So don't boast and boost your bust because they're going to fall. And you're going to have to pay about three, four more dollars more for that three-letter word. Starts with a B, ends with an A. And you got to do the R to release. Thank you, Jesus. Spirit of the Lord is here. Yeah. Spirit of the Lord is here. Yeah. I, I, I can feel him in the atmosphere. Spirit of the Lord is here. I can feel the Spirit of the Lord. I'm gonna get my, 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 my blessing right now. I can feel out loud, Spirit of the Lord. I'm gonna get my, my blessing right now. That's all right, that's all right. Uh, that's all right, see. Cause y'all will have me going back to the Apollo. That's okay, no, that's hard. No, I, uh, uh. No, no. No, that's all right. Hush, child. Thank you, Jesus. Amanchuku. Sister Amanchuku. Did I say that right? I just want to make sure I said that. That's a pretty name. I wanted to say that. <laughs> Sounds like us. Before they changed our name to Belzis. Yeah. I wish I was young again. I'd split out and run out through there and come back up there, but don't worry, it ain't fixing to happen. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. We've got to get up, arise, shift, and release what God has invested in us. God bless you. I feel like cutting the message off at this point and asking that if there's someone in this house. I'm not trying to ask you whether you, you know, ain't never been saved or you this, that, and other. I just want us women to have enough sense to place what God has given us, the beauty, the wisdom, the gifts, the talent, that he has allowed us to have to release it in the proper places. Amen. To help someone. To live it at home. Our children and our grandchildren hear us gossiping on the phone too much. Talking about the pastor. If you don't like him, go somewhere else. And let me let you little ladies. Wait, a minute, I'm finna use this chair. I'm gonna sit in it for a minute, just a second here. Anger, anger, just this all. You, you, you want to 
have a conference with the pastor. <laughs> you got to talk. And then you go into his office, and it takes you 10 minutes to sit down and cross your leg. Stun you, baby. Are you a total fool? Would you look up here? What would he want with you? I know you can't help yourself because he's shown sure enough fine. Okay? I can say that I'm old enough for his grandma. <laughs> See what I'm saying? But he's not interested in you. If you can use your gift and your talent, if you can arise, if you can shift your mind in the right direction, amen, and if you can release what God has given you, there's a place for you. Other than that, shut up and sit down. Amen. If there's one in the house tonight, who wants God to release you in a different area. You need another dip. You want another anointing. You might even need to change your fuel. You might need to upgrade the high test. so that you'll have a smooth run. In other words, this is what we call the altar call. Young person, old person, middle-aged person, if you need that prayer, if you need God to help you rearrange your position in the way that you go, whether you're going to go through the city and take on the deeds that you see there, whether you want to uh, stay in the country and go in the rural. If you want to just stay in the country and go in the rural, you really need to come because you've seen what's there. You need to get out and get in the city. And you don't really have what it takes to get up and shift and release Get into the city. Come to this altar. This is what we call the altar call. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I don't want... Are you coming to the altar? If so, face me. If you're an altar worker, face the audience. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, women, look at that. I don't have the time or the strength to come down and shake either one of you and jack on you and whatnot. I ain't studying you. I'm going to save my strength. I'm going to tell you the truth from where I stand. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. My sister right here in the front, before you go any further, let me tell you, you don't need attention from nobody but God. You have lacked getting attention and you have put yourself out there so much and look like nobody appreciates you are appreciated precious more than you know but you don't have to have folks to tell you you're done good i feel down in your spirit you worried about what folks think and you just put your own in and look like you don't get no credit for it you get credit and it ain't on credit huh it's a cash flow that's flowing up to god that's the release that he will give you. That's what you need. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I wish I'd see more young men here, and more men. Thank God for the ones that did come. But there ought to be some men, some more men. You need to come and get in this group. God bless you, sir.
Some more men need to get it. I'm not going to pick on you. I go as the Lord gives me. If he gives me to point out something, I do it. If not, I don't. You know your sin. And if you live in right, you know that too. Thank you, Jesus. But men, you need to be better. You don't have to come, son. You, you can go back and sit down. I believe you were sincere the first time you came up. Were you? Did you mean what you said when you came up here? Well, if you just want to be in that group, just stay there. But God forgave you, and he loves you, and all he wants you to do is just get in the right path and stay there. And he will release the proprietor properties of glory down to you. God will release that to you. Thank you, God. Thank you for everyone in this audience. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, and I do want you to know that I was talking to a lot of professional people. The enemy will make a fool out of you because you did go to school. You did persevere. You wasn't doing nobody a favor. The wisdom and knowledge that he has given you is to help mankind. And he pays you in the process. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Including you. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know you. Never saw you before. I don't believe. And you, she's fine. She's fine right there. Thank you, Jesus. Look at me. And when I go to line, I want you to tell off on me. But you've been lied to so much in your life. They tried to deceive you with lies. God has given you a new understanding. You love yourself more. You appreciate what he has done for you more. And you can accept you for being you more. Because you haven't always loved yourself. But the Lord said, look up and live. Am I talking to you? Look up and live, woman. Hallelujah. God, look on everyone on this altar. In the matchless name of Jesus. Give strength. Bind demons and devils and cast out the evil spirits. Give them to see and to know when to put their lives in gear. Oh, Jesus. Help them to understand that you will give directions. All they got to do is just shift gears. You will head them in the right direction and when they get there, Teach them by the Holy Ghost how to release. In the name of Jesus, we pray. We believe God. Thank you, Jesus. Mother, pastors, auntie, mother, or what? Related. Pastor's auntie. Okay, I don't, you the pastor's auntie. Yeah, who's you, 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 yeah, my point, oh, my point is in California, who is your bishop? Uh, well, my pastor just passed away, but uh, we got a new pastor, Okay, what I'm trying, I'm trying to see that I know one of your bishops, or in it, you know, I know a lot of folks out there, but what I wanted to, to say. That's fine. Okay, I don't know him, but I thank God for him. That's all I got to say, because he was able to pastor you. God bless you. Thank you. Now I just, just want to have a little word with you. 
Y'all listen to this because you don't know who else it's going to apply to. Amen. Mm-hmm. Whew, now, and what I'm talking about now is some kind of business. I ain't talking about ownership or no business. I'm talking about some business that you uh, can cash in on. It ain't no good to you know how no more. You don't need it. Thank you. It might be an old insurance policy. You with her? Which one? The man, who you with? This one. Okay. All right. Well, then I'm talking to you now. Check your bill. Check your business. Have somebody. Check your business. There might be an old insurance policy of some kind that you can cash it in. Are you over 85? I will be 85 in June. Well, in June, it might not be no good no more. So before June, see if you got a policy you can cash in. Does that make sense? You got some old policies you ain't been doing them but paying and leaving up and paid out now. Check them out. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Now, I, I, I ain't going down. I'm meddling with you because you looking at me funny. You with the white flower up there. Step up a little bit. Uh-uh. You, 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 you know you got a white flower up there, and you... Now step right there. Don't come no uh uh-uh, I don't need you up here. Hey Amen. You're doing fine. But if something's troubling your mind and you don't know what to do about it, I don't quite understand because you don't have no family, do you? You do? Where your wife? Yeah, well, that's what I say. You ain't got no family. I don't mean you ain't got no mom and daddy, boy. So you don't have a family to support. Okay, well, you shouldn't be confused. Your family, your mom and daddy take care of you. Okay. Well, you should not be confused, but you got some confusion in your mind, bro. And I'm going to let you know, it ain't no good. I'm not saying that you're bad or evil. But what the enemy is trying to get you to even consider, think about, forget about it. It ain't no good. Am I making sense? I ain't going to ask you what it is. I don't care. It ain't my business. But forget it. Go to school, boy. You hear me? You go to school. Because leadership is in your blood. Amen. Your mom and dad go to church here? You go what? You go to school out here where you come from, baby? Mm-hmm. Stay in school. God has a goodie for you. Amen. Well, the rest of you, God, in the name of Jesus. We ask that you would look on everyone on this altar. You know what they need, and you the only somebody can give it to them. Bind and arrest the powers of evil. Give them the victory in their hearts, in their minds. Give them how to get up and release the tension. Release the doubt. Release the insincerity. In the name of Jesus. And help them to go forward in your will. In Jesus name. Do it God for your glory. Do it for your great name's sake. And we'll thank you for it. And we'll give it back to you in service. In Jesus name. Thank God. Amen. Return to your seats. Everybody take your seat. 
I really didn't mean to be this long, Pastor. I really didn't. But I was so sick when I came here. At the last minute, my sister said, Carl, he'll understand. Call and tell him you can't make it. I said, uh-uh, I'm going. And the devil said, you're not going to be able to stand there. You can't do it. You can't do it. You ain't been able to stand up 30 minutes since you've been back home. Some kind of virus, I don't know. They, blah, blah, blah. But God.
another. Right there, you with the beige on. Uh-huh. The stuff right fall. I want you ain't got to come all the way up. If I'm lying, I want you to tell off on. God said you made me a vow. When you stick, and if you stick to that vow, God said I'm gonna put money in your hands, in your pocket, in your account. Not that this vow is connected with a quarter, it ain't got nothing to do with money. God said, but I'm going to reward you naturally for that spiritual vow if you hold on to it. Am I talking to you? And you know what I'm talking about. Go on about your business. That's all right. While we calm down, let's kind of calm down a little bit. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let her lay there. That's all right. She ain't bothering nobody. La da 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 da. La da 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 da. Ba da ba da da da. You don't know this one. Ba ba. I'm just making it up. La da da da. La da 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 da. La da 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 da. I'm gonna I'm gonna get to something you know in a minute. La da 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 da. Now here we go. Da 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 da. That's it. La da 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 da. La da 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 da. There you go, bro. La da 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 da. La da 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 da. La da da. La da da. La 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 la. Everybody have your seat at this time. Take your seats. Let her lay there if she wants to. She ain't by that's she what you trying to get, I think she's trying to get up if she help her up if she trying to get up. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your heart. Wait, Benny, sweet precious. Let her stand steady. Wait a minute. Don't take her. I want to ask her a couple of questions. Where is your church membership? Now you're talking about where it will, where it will be. No, 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 no. I'm talking about here in Carolina. You ain't in here yet. Huh? You don't have a church home here yet. Talk to me, sister lady. Yeah, that's all right. Go on, lay. Come on, shift, baby. Come on, let's get real, because we finna release something here now. 